Hi there, thanks for joining us again. We have a geometrical figures video exploring quadrilaterals and other polygons and this time we're having a look at specifically the angle uh, angle size, the size of each angle in regular polygons. Okay, the angle size in regular polygons. Let's check what a regular polygon is. It sounds like it's just an ordinary polygon but there's a special meaning to the word regular when we're using uh, the word polygon after it. And uh, a regular polygon has equal sides, all the sides are equal, and all the angles are equal as well. So we can only do this really if we know that uh, all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. We can find out the size of each of those angles. Let's see how we do it. Now well, that's a regular polygon. Got all the sides equal, indicated by the the markings on there. If it's got the same number of markings, it's got the same si length of uh, sides. And each of the angles in these shapes, they'll be the same sizes of each other. So each of these five angles on a regular polygon, uh, sorry, <laughs> a regular pentagon, are the same sizes of each other. So we'll take the angle sum and we'll work with that. Each of these regular hexagon interior angles are the same size as each other, and the regular octagons have the same size. So a little different from one another in the shapes there, but still. Okay, to find the size of each interior angle in any regular polygon, the ones that have the same size and shape, um, angle size will equal the angle sum, and we figured out the angle sum of all the different polygons in the previous video, so you might like to check that if you haven't watched it recently. But we take the angle sum of that polygon and we divide it by how many sides we've got. Now if we just scroll back briefly, I don't do this very often, but I'll scroll back to where we had all the, the three figures there, and you'll notice that we have the same number of angles as we do sides in these polygons. Uh, this, a pentagon has five sides and it has five interior angles. A hexagon has six sides and it has six interior angles. And a regular hexagon has, well, any, any, sorry, a regular octagon has eight sides and eight interior angles there. So whether we're dividing by the number of sides or angles, it'll be the same number for each of these shapes anyway. So we have an angle sum that we we know already from a previous video, or we could figure it out in a fresh way, and divide by the number of sides, and that'll give us the size of each little angle in that uh, in that polygon, each interior angle. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. Regular pentagon has an angle sum, which we found out from the previous video, 540 degrees, and we have five sides. So if we do 540 degrees divided by five, we'll find the size of each angle. And in this case, the angle size in a regular pentagon is 108 degrees. So we take the angle sum of that shape and divide it by how many sides we've got. Regular hexagon, we have an angle size of 720 degrees. Uh, well, the angle sum is, 100, is 720 degrees. And we have six sides and six angles. So we'll divide that in. And each, we'll figure out that the size of each angle on that regular hexagon is 120 degrees. In our last uh, example here, we have a regular octagon. We figured out previously that it's got an angle sum of 1,080 degrees, and it has eight sides and eight angles. So we'll divide that in and find out the size of each. So the angle size on a regular octagon is 135 degrees. So let's recap here. The word regular meant a special thing for polygons. It meant that we've got a shape here with equal sides and equal angles. And to find the size of each angle, uh, for the major um, polygons here, the pentagon, the hexagon and the octagon, we can take the angle sum of that particular polygon and divide it by how many sides we've got. And there we have it, to find the angle size in regular polygons. Thanks for listening. PeterBlakeMath.com. Catch you next time.